can talk about that more now that we're live. <laughs> and we're live! <laughs> Learn that lesson the hard way. Welcome back. We're the Burn Junkies. I'm Sean. He's Dan. Dan. No, he's Dan. I'm Dan. Tonight, we drink something beautiful. She's a soft, subtle baby girl. Get a little uh, basil strength ride. I'm gonna be honest. This isn't gonna be soft or subtle. This is gonna no. be far more aggressive. We got the old Michter's Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Kentucky Ooh. Barrel Poof Ride. I think there's enough Kentuckys in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All yeah. right. So here's wow. the deal. It's a little weird. Here's the bam bam deal. <laughs> Mixer's <laughs> barrel strength rye. Everybody loves it. Thought you ripped the cork in half when you did that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Trying to get a Glenn from Mixer's. Yeah. Mixer's send us some grapes, Glenn. Yeah. We did have a Mixer's cork break. We did. Like legitimately. Not this one. He and blamed not, me. Not due to abuse, time. but Sean did twist it. Yep. Weird. What but is this look how dark this is, dude. Let's just start with that. Yeah. Look how dark that is. I don't even know if you can see it. Probably not. If you can, it's as dark as it gets. Am I? Oh, one drop. All right. Two drops, but a long pour, and you're I call gonna, that a successful. You're call that a drop. Huh? I call that. <laughs> I called it two. That's a solid. It's a small puddle. If yeah. I'm being completely honest. Um. Here. So this is one that we actually had sitting on the shelf for a while and kind of forgot about. Oh, it's so good though, dude. Oof, I've wanted one of these bad boys for the longest of times. So we'll preface this with Dan's favorite uh, mixer's product is probably the toasted rye. Barrel strength rye. Oh, barrel strength. No, the rye. this is the barrel strength rye. Toasted barrel strength rye. But it's, oh, it's yeah. also... Sorry. I, listen, it's not yeah. your fault. It's yeah. a, Listen, mixer's... It's not a good naming scheme. You guys don't watch this shit, and I don't blame you. But if you did, I would say your guys' naming schemes on your bottles are very good. It's confusing. about as good as barrels. It's, it's slightly better than barrels. Barrels is a miserable nightmare. Um, but yeah, that is his favorite. So getting just the regular barrel strength rye is a treat. The only one I want that I haven't had, besides like Michter's 25 year rye and 25 year bourbon and 20 year bourbon, is like the legitimately like obtainable one maybe someday, Michter's 10 rye. Yeah. We've never had a Michter's 10 rye. We've had the Michter's 10 bourbon. 2019 Michter's 10 bourbon, we love. Yeah. But someday I'll have a Michter's 10 rye, that'd be awesome. Hey, it's beautiful. Oh, it's almost floral, which is weird for it a rye. Is, but I get like dark chocolate, some oh. raisin. It's like the only time I've welcomed a floral note on a, a whiskey. A lovely bed of baking spice. It's weird because the floral aspect kind of lays on top of spiciness, like an actual rye note. It's almost like um, like a nice jam. Oh my. This is a 108 proof. Listen, barrel strength rise are our thing to begin with. Yeah. When, you, like, you get into a nice barrel strength rye, most of them damn. are pretty damn good, you know? When you get down into the, the glen, the, the chocolate, just whew, super strong. This is somewhere in the $60, $80 price range. You'll have to figure that out. Not I don't know which us, one it is. Uh, I, well, I got it for I think it's supposed to be 79 that. I got it I, in an auction. Yeah, so I think this is supposed to be 79 for this bottle. 79. We paid drastically less. Um, I was very happy to get this bottle. The Maker's Limited mm. Series is delicious. Little, uh, that tiny hint of dilliness on the uh, palate. Like right in the front. Little, little flash. Okay, I'm gonna agree with you, but Oof. it's I can barely there. The, the hug sits oh. here. And then, like, in the back of my throat. Oh my gosh. Listen, this, I would say, and I, I'm not going to put them next to each other. I'm going to say this blindly. So, take that for what it's worth. Nothing. Uh, Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye competes with Kentucky All Rye Batch 3. I was going to say, I think this competes more with Lot 40. Okay. I was going to say, like, it's uh, sweeter. Batch 3, but I'm saying it's competing with that dollar, that $200 bottle. Yeah. Maybe that. Mm. I might rather drink I, I would probably, mm, I would probably put this next to a lot 40 cask more than I put it to the KL3. Here's the difference. The lot 40 cask has closer to that Thomas Handy note, whereas it's that minty, it's that mint tied in with that clove, that weird gummy note. Okay. 
This doesn't have that. The, the clove, I think, is actually starting to come through more. This has clove, clove for like, sure. Clove and syrup is starting to come through a lot more yeah. on the nose. Dude, you this in like the late fall might be perfect. Probably. Might be a perfect whiskey. It's not too high a proof to like really chase you off just it. Enjoy it. It's got that nice uh, backing that goes with the proof into the spice. I get a tiny bit of black pepper on the nose as well. A tiny bit, not in a bad way at I think all. it's more of the, the sweeter spices than it is pepper. There's just like a little bit of that, <clears throat> whew, there's a little bit of that peppery nose on the, nope, nope, on the nose. There you go, oh, there's a lot of ends in there. Mm -hmm. Just how rich that second drink was, just everything washes over. The coats, mm -hmm. lingers. The, the syrup aspect of it. Um, I, um, there might be a little uh, sweet peppermint. You ever have those? It's not quite a minty stash. No, no, no. But you ever have those like cinnamon mints? Where it's like refreshing, like but an cinnamon? Oil? Nope. This, like, uh, Mongolian barbecue has them. They're like um, white and oh, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that, where it's not minty. The spice like is there. Like an after dinner mint? After yeah, yeah, dinner dude. mint? There you go. It's like a nice, it's like a happy medium of that, where it's not real, like, hot. It's not hot, but. Spice exists in a pleasant place. Yeah, it's more of a pepperminty than actual mint. I'm going clove and then like a piney forest. I can see that sweet, sweet mint aspect of it. Like, when I, cause here's the problem. Usually I oh. don't like mint on things, mint. in things, but this mint is is more, it's so, it's so sweet still. Yeah. Somehow there's so much sweetness in this bottle still. So usually mint for like, when we get mint, it's like an oily aspect of it that it, it comes through in the finish. And it kind of gets a little, mm, not our favorite type of flavor. It's like kind it. of astringent. A lot of Four Roses have it. Yeah. Some of the, like the small batch left had that, that yeah. oily minty quality. A lot of it. Where, it kind of ruined the finish, where this is more of a flavor mm -hmm. than a finish. Yeah, yeah. That it, you hit that yeah. sweet mint, and then it kind of fades out. I like out. to think of it like, when you say more like a flavor, I like to think of it more like a sweetened thing. Yeah. Like a purposely sweetened, yep. instead of like, yeah, it tastes like somebody just threw a mint leaf in the bottle. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, man, I like it though. It's it's more, okay, this for me, I'm gonna say is more of an, like a, an Andy style of flavor where it's got that like chocolatey sweet rich uh flavor up front i get zero chocolate there does there's no chocolate existing inside of that and it's not even objective it just isn't there you know what i mean you are so very wrong good sir nope no chocolate but dude that's a linger right up front it's right a nice front. linger right up front it's like an andy's mint I heard it hit his mouth. I wasn't gonna watch, but I did hear it hit his mouth. You gotta be a little impressed. I um, barely spilled any. I'm a little impressed. I'm majorly impressed. I'm gonna rephrase that. That's crazy. Nope, no um, Andy's. Uh, right. <laughs> still not there, dude. I tried it from up here. I tried it from down here. No <laughs> Andy's yet. Good complexity. I feel like the proof is perfect. I don't want anything more. I like the proof. I definitely don't want anything less. Lingers, mouth coating. Uh huh. I don't have a problem with that whiskey. You're telling me that's a sub hundred dollar bottle, A. Yeah, I'm gonna say hard A. Mm -hmm. Hard A. Yeah. Because there's, here, how many how many rise are more than a hundred dollars now? A lot. Every one there's of them. There's nothing. I I feel that is about as good of a product as they can get. That absolutely destroys Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. Yeah. Because that has still has that weird wax, you know. Yeah, it does. I I definitely get that out I, of it. I'm gonna be completely honest. This obliterates a lot of High West products for me. Oh my god, it took a lot for you to say that, didn't it? It hurt my feelings. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I wish I could cry on you. That'd be freaking sweet, dude. So let me spray some whiskey in your head. Look, look, I got work. a little water in there. Um, yeah, that's a good bottle. Dude, like, so like what I'm saying to the fact that I don't think it gets any better because there's nothing in the flavor profile that I wish was a little bit stronger or yeah. a little weaker. It's so well balanced. Yep, and it's, it's actually, it's kind of like one of these nice curves where it just slowly does yeah. this. There's no spikes, there's no like drop offs. The, yeah. Honestly, it's still lingering Nothing's a little fighting. bit. Um, so this is a 2018 bottle. 
the somebody, one of our uh, one of our buddies, a channel buddy, um, is sending us a 15 bottle, 2015. Channel buddy. G to the M. Oh yeah. He sent us a 2015, which a bean. I've heard is incredible. So we'll probably open that 2015 up on a live stream from Paramount. So what's funny is right now, like just uh, I haven't drank in a while. Pink bubble gum is what I'm getting. So I was gonna say gummy. Yeah, like it in that gummy. like it, it's lingering very sweet, and I haven't had any in a long time. Dude, the last thing I had, I poured from up here so it could oxidate on the way in. I, <laughs> Perfect. I feel like any uh, of the rye whiskeys that I've had that I get that like pink bubble gum, we love. And anyone, dude, how is this under hundred? Makers, don't change your price. If this was an eight, if this was a ninety nine ninety nine dollar bottle, it's still it would still an sell a. out everywhere. It's still an A. Yep, hundred percent agree. So yeah. I this think this is, is very, end. very few bottles that we would pay more for than the sticker price. This is starting to frustrate me a little bit. We don't have more of it? Nope. Oh. Because the Kentucky Alabaster arrives $200. And if these were both 100 I would still pick that one. Well, I can tell you that we have one hell of a whiskey war coming up. With the old rice skis? Rice. We, got, we should redo we our got rice stone. We have this. Oh, We've my. got Kentucky Owls. Oh, we got some hitters, dude. Yeah. Jeez, oh, we got geez. some crazy rice. Oh, my. Those are some bad man pajamas. So, yeah, I, I think hard That's, A. Hard A. Uh, if you see one, buy one. It's a hard A because of the hard D. You know what I'm saying? All right. You and know then, what uh, so what I will say from there is uh, we've, we've got, the some, got some links down below. You can support us with uh, following on those. Please. Hey, just, you know what? If you like and comment and you subscribe. That also helps us out. That helps us uh, shit ton. Uh, if you go to our Patreon, it helps a shit ton. You. Here we go, dude. Let's let her rip. All right. But for real, this is the end of the video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Come hang out with us on We're Tuesdays, Monday, Thursday videos. The proof is in the pour. Woo! I wish I had a... It's a hot... You know, I'm plugging the mic and drop, drop it. it. Don't drop it. <laughs>